Hello all you Bloodsport loving cosmonauts, as always I am Cosmic and today we're going to be reviewing Bloodsport 2 Legendary Edition. Legendary Edition is of course the new edition for Bloodsport 2 that comes with the official Bloodsport 2 expansion. It is brought to you by Cyanide Studios and of course Focus Home Interactive. Now Bloodsport is a game that I have loved ever since the tabletop and I absolutely adore the video game adaptation. I thought Bloodsport 1 was fantastic and Bloodsport 2 was even better, made lots of improvements but still kept that core um, nail-biting RNG goodness that one expects from Blood Bowl. It is a game that is equal parts amazing, also equal parts frustrating in its core design. Um, I hate that my star player always gets injured or dies and it is a source of ever-ending frustration for me but I still love it nevertheless. Now Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition comes with uh, the original game Blood Bowl 2. It comes with all of the previous release DLC races including things like halflings, ogres, goblins, blah 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 and it also brings a new race into the Blood Bowl world, the Kislev Circus and their you know circus men and of course the tamed bears and they are pretty goddamn awesome. Now on top of that the it also brings with you know you've got your new players new stadium as you would expect to have with a new race but one thing for me that was a really important content addition for bubble 2 legendary edition was the new eternal league now the new eternal league is a solo game mode whereby you play in an eternal league and you go from competition to competition and you can build up your squad whichever one you choose and build up your team and play as you would in any given multiplayer league but in a solo setting and it works really really well I have to say I very much enjoyed it it has a couple of features that really work very well sponsorships that for example are a lot more important in the solo eternal league and there's also the new challenge mode that also works very well I wasn't a big fan of the challenge mode because for me Blood Bowl 2 revolves around multiplayer and I think the new Eternal League brings out the nice um, single player side of it but for me challenge mode doesn't really do anything because I would just be rather playing uh, multiplayer mode. Now for those of you who have played Blood Bowl 2 before will know how the game works very very simply and I'm not going to review the game I'm not going to go into the mechanical depth of Blood Bowl 2 because it's a game that's previously been out and there are a hundred reviews that you could go watch to get the, to grips with the core mechanics of Blood Bowl 2. I will say if you are a player of Blood Bowl 2, one thing that may interest you is the new feature of mixed teams. Now in previous Blood Bowl iterations you were only able to select a race and that race had a selection of players and classes within that and you could only ever choose from your race. You can now create mixed teams so you can pull in players from all different races to create a really unique team that adds a lot of tactical depth. Now there are of course restrictions to mixed teams so in any given normal multiplayer league you're not going to be able to create a mixed team for that and you're going to have specific multiplayer leagues to be able to play your mixed teams. But it does add something, I feel, to really get to grips with the variety. It is really interesting to create a mixed team from all different races because, as Blood Bowl 2 players will know, each race has its strengths and weaknesses and varying advantages and disadvantages. And so to really pick and choose from each race and, you know, really be able to almost beef up, and it's almost OP if it wasn't Blood Bowl, right? So in any other game, if you were able to do this, this would be every single team would be overpowered to all hell because you'd be able to have you know a run a catcher that's from one of the elven teams who has amazing dodge and amazing catch you'd be able to have a thrower and then you'd also be able to have you know the various undead ogres and all that kind of thing from all the necromantic teams and with that comes a tactical depth and a unique replayability to the game that wasn't there before it's certainly for me not a core feature i think for me the core fun still remains 
in taking a really bad team in a multiplayer league and then fighting your way through the ranks, gaining levels, progressing those players, earning various features and new skills and then you know competing with the best of them but i think that the mixed teams feature really does add some nice variety to the game when you fit like you know i play necromantic for example and they are a tough team to get going especially early game you're going to struggle against nearly every single team because they're not they don't have the strength required to go toe to toe with bashy teams and at the same time they don't have the dodge and the speed and the mobility to go against teams that have a high agility and high mobility so you get basically pushed around for like 15 games almost and that can get really frustrating and it's nice to just take a break from your normal multiplayer league go play a mixed team and really you know see who has the better draft and that's really interesting and it's certainly a feature that was you know a really surprise hit for me in that regard i have to say that overall i really loved legendary edition i like the new features i like the subtle changes that it makes to the back end i like some of the balancing changes that it made um i'm really happy with a lot of the teams and their makeup i love the new kislev circus i think it's a really interesting team and it's a lot of it's, it's really actually a lot of fun to play i think it could be possibly a little op at the very start um that bear is fantastic but the the standard linemen of that team are fairly strong and they have some really good abilities like leap over and a lot of the actual just bog standard linemen will have the ability to just jump over enemy lines and just run like hell which can especially for me playing necromantic it can be really frustrating because I don't have players who can catch up apart from my werewolves and usually my werewolves are targeted straight on early on so they're all injured by like the fourth turn but I think that overall it's a really nice addition um, I think that overall it makes the game a much more um, varied game it's a lot more replayable it had some nice distractions to the straightforward league setup and ultimately i think for blood bowl fans in general it is a overall expansion that works in their favor and ultimately is worth the money if you are a die hard blood bowl 2 fan if you're not a die hard blood bowl 2 fan you've never played blood bowl 2 before then i would say it is a game that you might want to wait for a sale for because if you spend it if you know if you come in at full price at the full 40 dollars for the legendary edition you're going to you know you need to be prepared to understand what the game is about and understand the frustration that is involved with any kind of blood bowl 2 setup and so if you've never played blood bowl 2 before now is definitely the time to get into it but i would say that it might be worth waiting for a sale to make sure that you know what the game is about and you get your money's worth versus a diehard fan of Blood Bowl 2 like myself whereas full price for Legendary Edition if you don't have a lot of um, the teams and the already released DLC then it is certainly worth it and now is the time to get it. And that is my review of Blood Bowl 2 Legendary Edition. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button, make sure to subscribe and as always I will see you next time.